if there's no seat at the table, bring a folding chair. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, like you and Sarah hang out. I'm like, we don't have time no, to hang out. There's no each time. Other. Like, even if we wanted to. There's so. no time. It's no. coffee in front of people. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. What we mean Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. All right, I'm going Kay. for it. Do you remember the first time you realized you were a black woman in hockey? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Start off strong. Here. Off the top. <laughs> Um, I think the first time um, I realized that I was a little bit different than the other people that I played hockey with, whether it was boys or girls, um, was in a girl's locker room. Actually, we were talking about hair, mm -hmm. and they started talking about my hair and how my hair just didn't do the things that their hair would do. Um, and I remember one time I came into the locker room, my hair straight, and everybody was <laughs> obsessed with it. And they couldn't even get enough of it. They said, your hair looks so much better like that. And I just remember thinking, like, that's not me. Like, yeah. that's... It's totally not me. And so that was probably the first time um, that I ever felt different in that essence. Yeah, because I always bring up playing with the boys. That was the first time, like, you're the only girl and whatnot. Um, but the hair thing, I remember going to tournaments and they're like begging me to brush out my hair. Mm -hmm. So I have this massive afro and it was just like a sight to see, but definitely an awkward moment. Yeah, <laughs> like a little polarizing and yeah, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you need to be perfect in the spaces you exist in? This is a great one. <laughs> this is a great one. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I think you probably share this as well, but like that essence of perfectionism, because I know or I feel that sometimes if I make a mistake, that's the only thing that is ever going to get talked about or is going to be remembered. And so um, for me, I feel like we walk that fine line where I want to be perfect yep. so that I can set the stage for the next little black girl who wants to play hockey. Imposter syndrome is huge too. Um, just realizing that we are the pieces of representation now. And mm -hmm. I think that's important to, to note, but at the same time, I always feel the need to be perfect and you know to code switch in certain situations and not 100% be myself, which mm -hmm. I think is silly because we should always be able to be ourselves. For sure. <laughs> and like the imposter syndrome and like feeling worthy of like the success and everything that we do, mm -hmm. I think is absolutely crazy. Like yeah. I feel it all the time. Like yeah. almost every day, <laughs> especially very recently, like it's like very heightened to me. And yeah. so um, reminding ourselves that like we are so deserving of everything that we've ever accomplished and all the things that we continue to. Do you feel optimistic about the future of black girls participating and being more welcomed into our sport? I always say we're kind of the first trailblazer generation. We had Angela James, but we're, there's five people like you, Blake Bolden, Michaela Gramenta, Sophie Jakes, and myself. And that, those are the visible pieces right now. Um, and I, I see more black girls being like, oh, I'm interested in hockey. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing that I've noticed in black girl hockey club specifically is that a lot of black women aren't even asked if they want to try hockey. It's not even an option, but um, I see the smiling faces and I see them being welcomed and them having a community now. So that's the positive part for me. Yeah. I think seeing the young black girls in the stands, like I, I can't even believe it. Like it blows my mind. Like every yeah. time I see a little girl who like looks like me or looked like me when I was a kid, it, it like stops me dead in my tracks and gives me goosebumps. Every I know. Time. I think we get just as excited as yes, they do. I'm I like, oh honestly, my I need to give you a pop. Honestly, a stick or like something. I will stop and go back because like I'll, I, I can see you, right? Yeah. And so it just makes me feel seen almost, and it's just as gratifying for me, I think, as it is for them. What has the sport of hockey done for you? A lot. Wow, a lot, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think that hockey has given me so many opportunities and exposed me to different things and different people, people that I don't think I would have ever crossed paths with. And I know that for us being in this position, it's super unique because we have the ability to reach an audience who doesn't really know about 
black people, black culture, black history. And so I think it's just been this unique opportunity for us to be able to be those people in our community. Obviously I just retired, but mm -hmm. hockey's still a huge part of my life. Yeah, you're so still in it. <laughs> still going at it. So yeah. um, obviously been all, all around the world and hockey's taken us to incredible places. Obviously it's, had, it's hurt mm -hmm. involved in it, but um, we wouldn't be who we are and sitting here today if we weren't mm -hmm. hockey players. Yeah. So. Well, I even think of like the first time we met, I feel like I yeah. tell a story all the time, <laughs> but like us walking down the street at Lake Placid because yep. you were on the U18 team and I was on U22 <laughs> and like seeing each other from across the street <laughs> and like, my dad was Hi. like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I know, my dad's like, another black man, yeah, we gotta talk, exactly. you know, so. And so the fact that like hockey brought us together in that totally unconventional way. Yeah. yeah. And even the fact like you would have been the only black woman that I could have seen before mm -hmm. that in a Team Canada jersey in our, sure. that generation. So I was like, okay, well, Sarah can do it. I can do it. Yeah. So it was awesome and totally funny. The yeah. Way we went. Hilarious. <laughs> like, do you even think about this day? Typical, like, <laughs> black men say hi to everyone. It's Absolutely. Like, dads will nod and yes. say hello. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What is one thing you admire about the person sitting in front of you? <laughs> I guess that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, everything, obviously, yeah. but um, I know what my schedule's like, so I can only imagine what your schedule's like, and being that lone person in the Hockey Canada circle, I think that, that um, you do an amazing job of being a piece of representation and continuing to be a positive role model, um, and I think that that's something that I aim to do, and seeing you do it allows me to do it as well. Um, so when we stick together, I think it's amazing, but I can't imagine what your schedule is like <laughs> and everything that you have to do. Um, I really admire that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, I, I feel like so similar in all of those sentiments because I think I've always admired the way that you've just been like fiercely, authentically you. <laughs> And if something is on your mind that you feel important to share, you're gonna share it. And there's no sugarcoating it. And I, that's what I feel like people need, yeah. right? And so I've always admired you from that standpoint because you are just 100% honest and true to yourself. Um, and the fact that you've been able to obviously transition from a playing space into the role you are now and continuing that representation in another role and showing people that you don't just have to be a player. That's yeah. not the only space for you in hockey. You can be, you know, on like executive boards like you're with Black Girl Hockey Club Canada mm -hmm. um, and then also with the P PWHL right now. Why yeah. can't I figure out that name? <laughs> I don't know why I mess it up, but <laughs> to be on broadcast in the panel I think is just so admirable um, and you do it with grace and Thank style you. all along the way. <laughs> Thank you and I think it's so important that we do take up different spaces mm -hmm. um, like playing business we got to fill these seats somehow um, and we're the first group of women to do that so I think it's awesome that we can fulfill different spaces and still work together. Divide and conquer. Yes. <laughs>you say to the idea that there is only one seat for black women in hockey at the table? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just laughable. I think this year, I honestly, my goal is not competing against women. Um, I don't think that we have to compete with each other. I think, as I mentioned, we can fulfill so many different areas of the sport and that's the goal. We should have our hands in all areas so that we can open up all of those doors. Um, and if there's no seat at the table, bring a folding chair. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> in that mm -hmm. sense, I think there's room for us all, no matter where we are, whether we're playing in the stands, panel, business ops. Um, so there's more than one seat at the table. Mm -hmm. No, I totally <laughs> agree. And like, it. it it is crazy to even like have that thought process uh, because there's so much success in the world. Like it's not like a pie chart. Like there's infinite yeah. amounts of success. And I even think there's two chairs right now, right here, right yeah. now, right? And I think of all of the other women like Blake, like Michaela, like Sophie and, and Layla. Like there are so yeah. many other women who are coming up and um, in this space with us. And I, I think it's just really special to see the amount of numbers and how we're showing up and really showing out. How important are organizations like Black Girl Hockey Club in opening new doors for black girls in hockey? Ooh, that's a good one. Not only do they want to get the girls on the ice, but they want to make sure that fans, that parents, that supporters also have an amazing experience. And I think that's what separates it from other areas. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact that you have a mentorship program and um, are able to still have those connections and those relationships with those girls who, like you're going to start working with them at 10, 10 years old. and continue yeah. to work with them through their 20s like it's 
it's so necessary and it's something that I know had you or I had growing up I think would have been game changing for us and would have been such a neat thing um, and an impactful thing to have and so organizations like Black Girl Hockey Club um, are doing the work. Like yeah. they, they are do it. You are doing the work. <laughs> and I think the thing that a lot of people don't realize too is that we're just a community of people. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to put these girls in a box and be like, you're a triple A player and mm -hmm. you're house league. Like these girls just love the game of mm -hmm. hockey and we're doing something with you now, Nursey Night. So yes. I'm super excited to announce that. <laughs> do you want to tell everyone a little yes, bit about that? Yes, I'm so excited about Nursey Night. Um, <laughs> to be able to work with you with Nursey Night and bring young girls and their families out to people PWHL Toronto yeah. games is I'm like getting goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it because I couldn't even imagine seeing professional women's hockey when yeah. I was young and so the fact that I get to be that person um, for those girls so to be able to bring them out to a game be able to meet them after talk chat and then um, at the end of the season obviously have a nice zoom session with yeah. all of the girls and like just chat about anything and everything I'm just really excited to be able to kind of bring it to fruition and have a space for black girls in professional women's hockey. Yeah, I'm so excited for all the little girls to meet you. And mm -hmm. I think it's, they view you as a star and whatnot. And I think it's so important for them to realize that you're just a person. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and those conversations, those one-on-one -on -one time that you mm -hmm. have with them is going to be so important. And I can't wait to see all the nursey signs in yeah, the stands. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. I already feel so much love for like, even last year at the World Championship, like all yeah. the signs and everything I felt like so loved and so hyped and Good. so I'm, I'm really excited to be able to share that experience. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Last one. Okay. Is there something you wish hockey did more of even in comparison to other sports? Honestly, I think I think hockey just has so much room for improvement in terms of who we market to and mm. the people we include. I think um, I think hockey moving forward is going to be able to unleash this whole new market, especially with the P P PWHL. Like, mm -hmm. it's going to be amazing. We're a startup. We're able to implement whatever we want to implement mm -hmm. and be diverse, be inclusive right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited to just implement what we need. And mm -hmm. that's diversity, it's inclusion, and it's women in hockey. The fact that we're able to completely mm -hmm like start with a blank canvas even like something as little as our walk-in outfits like exactly all the men they walk in in suits and i understand it's in their cba <laughs> i don't know who put that there but um being able to bring a little bit of culture a little bit of flavor a little bit of spice yeah. and interest exactly. um, to something that we do and so i i think that we're gonna have the great opportunity to really change the face of the game oh yeah i see mm -hmm. the fits yeah i see you we're already we're already, we're already out here stepping out <laughs> Oh yeah, you have to. Yeah. So I, I think hockey is going to be amazing with the PWHL coming mm -hmm. in full force. And I think we can kind of show the men where to take their game too. For sure. So. For sure. <laughs> I love it. Watch us. Follow us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Right. <laughs>